Hey everybody, it's Will from Holdfast Marine, your local boat shop, and we are back again with another great video. This is going to be part two of restoring this sunfish sailboat. And you're going to see a quick outfit change in me here uh, because uh, the last video we did ran a little long. So I spliced some stuff out of that video, and that's going to be in this video. And if I remember correctly, um, we're going to be grinding out and filling in some spots with some structural repair putty. So let's go ahead and get right into that. Now we have to get on to fixing some of the atrocities that happened when somebody attempted to fix this boat. And those are this god-awfulness in the bow here. Um, I'm not even sure what this is, but some kind of epoxy. You can see that's pretty crap. So that's going to go away. I'm going to grind out this, grind all of these out. There's one over here. Grind that guy out. And I'm going to show you how I grind out those imperfections. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be using a Dremel. To Dremel these out. This is a Dremel 3000 series and I'm going to be using this uh, 100 grit uh, grinding wheel and I'm just going to come in here and take out all of these bad repairs. Well, now that I've gotten all of that done, we're gonna mix up some structural repair putty and get those put into these areas and start letting that cure while we sand down the rest of the hull. Guys, sorry about this fan, it's my heater. Anyway, um, now that we have applied the uh, repair putty, I have now sanded it all off, like you're seeing in this clip here. And that has some pits and things like that in it. So normally what we would do now is we would switch over to our Total Boat polyester fairing compound. But what if you don't have any polyester fairing compound? What if you're out? What if you forgot you didn't have any? So I'm gonna show you how to make a fairing compound using gel coat. We're gonna take a mixing cup and we're gonna be adding in some Toll Boat gel coat with wax. We wanna shake it up real good. And 
end. I should be able to rip this open. Now, I'm just going to be mixing up about two ounces of this stuff here. So, well, the, and this is, I think I already said it, but this is the gel coat that has wax. And I pour it slow because it comes up to that two ounce mark really quickly. Okay. I always keep a few chip brushes, or excuse me, acid brushes at my station here. Now it comes for the fun part. I'm going to add in this silica, and I have to put on a respirator for this because I hate working with silica. Absolutely hate working with silica. So you're not going to be able to hear anything I'm saying, but I'll do the best I can. I'm going to put in about three big scoops there. All right, so I took my air nozzle and I blew everything off. And as you can see here, this is like the consistency of drywall compound. That's what I want. I want a nice <coughs> gooey mix. There's that fucking, it's just a little tiny bit of silica. Now I'm gonna catalyze this at uh, 2%. So I'm gonna pretend that we have four ounces in there because I'm pretty sure we do. So four times 2% is 0 0.08 times 29 0.574 is 2.3 ounces of mech and then we're going to go times two so it's going to be 4.6 but we're just going to use five because who cares get our little handy dandy gooer here up to five and there she goes All right, now that we're over here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some of this on here. Like this. And I'm gonna use a tool that you may have never seen before. This is actually a, you know, like a special effects putty knife uh, for doing makeups and things like that. And I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna take some of this off so that I can start to get the shape that I want. You can kind of see what we're going for here. There's going to be sanding required here, folks, but it's going to fill in all the crap here that we don't want. And what we want to do here is not have a lot of valleys, uh, meaning we don't want to have to sand this all off and do it again. And I'm going to do the same thing with this gel coat here. I'm going to get it on first, and then just scrape off the tops and the bottoms, because I want to build this up just a wee bit. Well, I'm going to let that cure up for a couple hours. I've got some other projects I've got to work on, as well as sanding down the entire other side of this boat. I don't think I'm going to get to spraying this today, but hopefully it'll be in this video. back now I am about to spray this boat and I have uh, 12 ounces of uh, gel coat without wax and I have reduced that with uh, about 1.2 1.5 ounces of MEK not MEKP 
M-E-K. And that is gonna thin this gel coat out just a little bit um, because I wanna get a few layers of this on. Now, 12 ounces seems to kind of be enough to do one coat on these sunfish. Um, and now we have about 13 and a half, let me say 14 ounces of, of the gel coat here. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to, I haven't catalyzed this yet, but I've got my spray gun ready to go here. Um, if you guys haven't watched the how to spray gel coat with a cheap spray gun video, I highly recommend you check that out after this. And that video will tell you all you need to know about that spray gun. So I'm gonna try and set the camera up. I'm a little worried about overspray uh, hitting my iPhone. I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll see how she goes. I'm gonna get the camera set up and you guys can uh, watch me spray this boat. Here we go. got done spraying down this boat and I realized that I didn't show you guys our cool uh, uh, gel coat filler. It did in fact, for those of you who were wondering, it did harden, uh, but I, I, I forgot to film it when I was sanding down this whole boat. I'm so sorry about that guy. Um, well, anyway, here's the, here's the repairs. We're right here and right here. And there's a little, you can see a little nick right there, but other than that, it's pretty good. Boy, I tell you what, man, those masks really put a dent on your face. So that was a pretty good first coat. And I'm gonna do one more coat of the laminating gel coat. And then I'm gonna finish that off with one or maybe two coats, but probably one of the gel coat with the wax. Now, if you're gonna be doing this in your garage or your home shop or whatever, these plastic curtains, I got them on Amazon, they're shower curtains, uh, eight footers. They work great to kind of manage the overspray. I don't have a spray booth in this shop. I would really love to have one someday, but I don't. So pretty much this stuff that you see over here is just used to keep the overspray off of my equipment. So with all of this now done, I think this is a good place to end this video. Now, before you guys click off, because a lot of you do, the next video is going to be sanding down and polishing all of this gel coat that we just put on. You're not gonna wanna miss that one because I have some really cool tricks to show you about that. Folks, if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you haven't liked the video and you did like it, please like it. Uh, comment, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you've ever tried to do this project before. Let me know your successes and let me know your failures. All right, guys, girls, and everybody else, I'll see you next time.